Okay, good week. Um, you know, this is a unique week in, uh, in, in a season. So, uh, you know, we get through, through the work we had to do as far as the roster, but we also got uh, a lot of work done as far as, you know, just cleaning up little things that you want to clean up as far as your schemes uh, and things like that. So looking forward to a few days off and then back to work next week. Assuming everything goes good with Calvin, what do you expect he'll do? Is he a swing tackle? Can he play it both inside and out? What's the big thing? Yeah, he's got position flex, which is, you know, one of the one of the good things about him. So absolutely. Just give Burns a day off today? Was just... It was a personal matter. Yeah, I think it's one of those healthy tension things like he's as ready as he can be, but, you know, you still got to go through it, you know. And so I think he understands that. I think his, first of all, his physical preparation, you know, has put him in good position, you know, for the week. And I, I just think his mental disposition, you know, I think just, it just gives us the best chance, gives him the best chance, gives us the best chance. There's no guarantees of anything. We know, we know we're going to, going on the road playing a division opponent it, it, those are the best those are those games are intense so um, there's nothing like jumping right in the fire you, uh, you were around with, with, with Kerry when he was drafted high he didn't start you know he did um, it seems like through the years the thinking from NFL executives has changed a little bit on that and a lot more you know three rookies are starting this year I wonder if you could speak to that and how things maybe have changed and why, why, that, why that might be. I would agree with your observation and, you know, that that seems to be the trend. Um, you know, I can't speak for everybody else's, obviously, but, you know, with us it was, it was an easy decision, you know, when we drafted him. But just to speak to the trend in general, you know, I just think in this salary cap error, um, if I were guessing off the top of my head, I'd say, hey, you got to get. You want to get that quarterback going. You know. You want to make some progress while he's on his first deal, while he's on his first contract. And um, so, there's nothing like experience. And I'm not saying that's the only way. I mean, I think there is a time. You know, I think the way I would view it, and the way is, it's case by case, player by player, team by team, situation by situation. So, um, I feel confident, obviously, in the decision we made. What did you see in Kerry that year that maybe? wasn't ready for that opener, but by the time he replaced you, he was ready. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up and the <laughs> emphasis of replacing me. <laughs> uh, it's true. Um, you know, I, I just think that Coach Capers and Bill Polian saw, hey, we had an early buy. I think it was week four, you know, and, I, you know, because it was such an early buy, I'm guessing, <clears throat> you don't have to ask them, but I'm guessing they knew that that was going to be it from the start. Let them taste and feel, you know, what it's going to be like. We were an expansion team, which is a little bit different, so don't throw them right to the wolves. But I think, you know, once we saw that, hey, this, we had some, we had some players, we could win, you know, with, with a quarterback like Kerry. And sure enough, he came in and you could instantly feel the, you know, the impact of a, Top level quarterback. Frank uh, Scott Fitter, when he was in here earlier, said uh, the goal was to win the NFC South, and that was, quote, definitely within reach. Uh, just your comments on that? Um, yeah, that's every team's goal. Yes, yeah, certainly our goal. Um, and once we, we literally, once we hit this week, you know, my, my focus goes to um, the, you know, it's always on the process, but hey, we're it's get better every day. Um, we set our goals in the off season. We know what they are now. Let's just it's it's week by week. The great thing about what every coach and player loves about when you get to this time of the year, it's just the routine of the every week we got a new game, and that is that's the greatest thing about this league, you know. And what you did the previous week or what you're going to do the next week, it really doesn't matter. You've just got to put all your focus and attention on this next game. That's the best approach in order to reach those kind of goals. We'll do a couple more. Go ahead. You, you had, I guess, had mentioned personal matter for Burns. Is that contract-related? Um, 
I'll just let refer that to you know to Brian. So I, I got, I mean, it's impossible for me to have more respect than I do for Brian. So, you know, that's his personal matter. So, um, and and then anyway, secondly, as a matter of policy, like I'm, that's not my role to talk about contracts, even if it, if that's what it was. With where they're progressing, the way they, with the way they're progressing right now, um, Terrace, Lavisca, and DJ, do you see them being ready for Week One? Um, It'd be nice if they all were, you know what I mean? It'd be nice if they all were. I think they're making good progress. I think, um, you know, we'll get these, they'll continue to get treatment through the weekend and then we'll get to Monday and, you know, and start to reassess the situation. I think it's too early to t tell for sure. I like the progress they're making though. We'll take one more. Um, right, this game, it's never changed. It's, it's going to be, you know, who wins the battle up front on both sides of the ball. So, you know, both teams, as you said, have, a young, have young quarterbacks, um, dynamic quarterbacks who can move, who can make plays. So, you know, the outcome of the game is not going to be solely dependent, but largely dependent on how we play up front, how they, you know, versus how they play up front, you know, in both, in both directions. So, I'm looking forward to that battle. I can't wait. I can't wait to, you know, like those battles are, are fun to see. I've a lot of confidence in our guys. I know we're going up against a, an Atlanta team that, that they're good up front on both sides of the ball. You know, offensive line, obviously, they had a very good rushing attack last year. They continued to build. And then defensively, you know, they did some work in the offseason to get some more players. So um, this is going to be a good defensive front. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.